Welcome, my fair solitary viewer, once again to the vlog vlog. I am your host, insert name here. Battletoads was released on June 1st, 1991 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was developed by Rare and published by Trade West. Before Battletoads, Rare made a few good games, but they also made a lot of really bad games for companies like LJN. What do you mean I'm not reviewing Battletoads on the NES? I have Battletoads, it was made for the NES. I'm playing it on my sharp Nintendo television. It's... It's on the Xbox now? Oh. Okay. What's it called? Battletoads? So, okay, so like... The arcade version of, of the Battletoads that was also simply called Battletoads? Or is this like the seventh port of the original game? So I have just been informed that Battletoads is also the name of the brand new game for the Xbox 3. Since calling it Battletoads is confusing, considering that this is the fifth game called Battletoads, I'm just going to call it Battletoads 2020, since that's the year it was originally released. Also, it should be noted that GameStop does not carry physical copies as far as I can tell. I asked all the stores in my area for months, and they didn't seem too happy about it. Maybe you'll have better luck than me, so keep calling them until you can find one. I was just too lazy, so I paid for a limited, revocable license to play the game on Xbox Live. Battletoads 2020 was released on August 20th, 2020, for the third iteration of the, of the Xbox that Microsoft calls the Xbox One for unknown reasons. It's also available on the fourth Xbox consoles and Windows. However, it's not available on Macintosh. The game was made with the Unity engine, so it's not like it would have been difficult to port it over to Macintosh. I'm just saying, but it was probably for the best. I'll be playing this on my Xbox 3, because I only turn on my Windows gaming PC to play Age of Empires 2. I don't think it needs a Ryzen 7 to play Age of Empires 2, but that's what I have. This new title comes to us from Dalala Studios. The company has been in existence for 8 years, and I'm not entirely sure what it is that they do. I think they primarily help with ports and with game assets for other game companies. Dalala Studios made Overruled, which was described as a multiplayer brawler which was released with mixed reviews, along with another game called Jansky, which is a free game of some kind. I'm doing my best here. I'm not, I don't really know what it is that they do. As far as I can tell, this is their first major project in their eight years of existence. Now, about the game. Obvious spoiler warning is obvious. <gasps> what? I thought dinner was served. That wasn't dinner. That was a server. Oh. Call a small ambulance! One, two, three. I don't know what to think about all this. On one hand, Delala Studios has an employee named Hugo, who is a pug. I mean, Hugo, he is a real dog that works at their office, and he has an official position with a company called Chief Dog Officer. This is true, it's on their website. Why, why can't I have a dog at work in my office? On the other hand, the game is a bit of an unfocused mess. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not exactly a great game either. In many ways, Delala's Battletoads 2020 falls into many of the same traps that Rare's Battletoads fell into when they first made the, their game in 1991. It just tries to do way too many things at once. The flaws of Rare's Battletoads were mostly overlooked because the game was quite innovative at the, t at the time, and even though the game was difficult, it was still a lot of fun. Battletoads 2020, I mean, I... I just don't know. I don't want to be overly negative because there are times where the game is fun. 
The game is also very nice to look at. Graphically, I I know that the art style is a little controversial and all. I'm sorry, but it absolutely has to be said. This new outfit? <laughs> I guess we've changed, Jeff. I've grown more impatient, and you want to control what I'm wearing. Like you're entitled to it because we hung out 20 years ago. Oh, Jeffrey, you've soiled your pants. <laughs> what are you going to do with me? I've already let you down once. Why not twice? <laughs> but the voice actress who played the Dark Queen is definitely a highlight. The story, from what I can remember, is a bit reminiscent of Duke Nukem Forever. The Battletoads are the greatest thing ever, everybody loves them, and it's all shown to be some sort of illusion that they were trapped in for the past 20 years. So now the Battletoads are on a quest to reclaim their past glory. If anything, maybe games like Battletoads 2020 and Duke Nukem Forever are reminders that sometimes things from the 90s may be better left in the 90s. That's awfully nice, but I should be more careful with who I trust. Hey, I'm the one talking to a guy carrying stuffed animals in public. We both could be psychopaths, man. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> I mean, I'm really conflicted here because while the game is short, the game somehow manages to completely overstay its welcome. While certain sections are not fun at all, I mean, they're just terrible, there were, there were times when I was actually having fun. I also s suspect that this was a bit of a passion project for the people at Dalala Studios. The company's founder and CEO, uh, AJ Grand Scrutton, I believe that his name is, lists it as one of his top five favorite games. There are, are times Playing the game where I see the potential, it just doesn't live up to its potential. I think perhaps the biggest problem for Battletoads 2020 is that it doesn't really know what kind of game it wants to be, and it never finds its own identity. I don't think the fine folks at Delala Studios are a bad team necessarily. They're still relatively new to making games on their own, Maybe they'll get another chance with the franchise and their next title will be a major improvement like Super Battletoads, the arcade game was, compared to the original NES game. Alternatively, maybe they'll make something of their very own and their own art style with their own cast of characters. Maybe something starring Hugo the Pug, Chief Dog Officer. I don't know. I'm not a game developer. I'm just a guy learning how to make use of the iMovie on his Apple Macintosh. I just want to remind you, my fair viewer, that I was not compensated for this review by the developer Delala Studios or the game publisher Microsoft Game Studios. I paid the full $19.99 like everyone else. And I was not given a co review copy of Battletoads for the NES or Battletoads 2020 either. This is also not an endorsement of the aforementioned products. Finally, my fair viewer, of whom I'm guessing there is just one, please do not subscribe to my channel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with, in making these things, so you can't expect anything that's any good. It's probably better if you don't share this with any of your friends because then we'll both be embarrassed. You can't follow me on Twitter because I don't know what that is. I hear famous YouTubers saying something about like buttons and notification bells, but I don't remember what they said about those. Just, just do the opposite of whatever it is that they tell you to do. I guess I should end my video now. Should we be doing an outro or something? Stay calm. You're a queen. You're unflappable. Suck my freaking butt, you backstabbing punks! Chug my dump truck, you stinky wimps! Beep, beep, garbage butt backing up! I hate the battle toads. I'm the Dark Queen, and now that my power has been restored, things are about to get very, very dark.